Renewable energy is clean energy, and it's the energy of the future. Wind, I think, in the past was thought about as an alternative energy. Uh, today it is mainstream. It is one of the key technologies and competes right there with natural gas. The energy sector is changing rapidly. One thing we know for sure is that wind and solar works. The renewable energy growth that we've seen over the last 10 to 20 years has been explosive. And that's a trend that we expect to continue for many years into the future. Working in this industry, I've seen what turbines looked like in the early 80s and what they look like now. It's been nothing short of phenomenal to see how technology has evolved. And I'm excited to see where the technology goes from here. So we moved from turbines that have 25, 30 meter blades to turbines that now have 50, 55, 60 meter blades. That means more power with less wind. The turbines have certainly gotten bigger and we're installing them up at much higher altitudes as well. Hub heights of over 100 meters now. Because we're able to build turbines higher up into the air now, we can capture more wind and invest in states that has, have been largely ignored over the last 10 years. Uh, we do a lot of work over the years to make sure that our turbines keep up with newest technology. The same turbine that we already have on the land, we go ahead and install upgrades on them, and then we make sure that the same turbine generate more power for a longer period of time. We also negotiate a decommissioning agreement. A decommissioning agreement is basically a bond in place so that if EDPR, for whatever reason, becomes bankrupt or is no longer in existence, the county will have the funds in order to remove all the current infrastructure. What makes wind competitive is the technology has improved dramatically over the past few years and the cost has come down dramatically. So we see efficiency improvements, cost reductions. The intersection of those two things has made us one of the most competitive technologies out there. The cost of wind is not going to go up, but there has historically been big ups and downs in natural gas pricing. That can be risky for electric utilities and companies that use a lot of energy. We're able to offer a long-term fixed price. It's a flat price that our customers can count on for 20 years. It's something that's very attractive to our customers. Utilities are pretty risk averse. They want to provide the cheapest, most reliable energy to their customers. So when they see that wind energy is cheap, reliable, easy to deploy, clean energy that provides rural economic development, they're choosing it. We have to move to sustainable energy to sustain our planet. If you think about traditional fossil fuels or how we produce power today through coal, oil, natural gas, we're digging through our earth and, and trying to find these uh, fossil fuels. So it's inevitable that we will run out of resources in our land that's buried deep within. What we do in renewable energy is extract the resources from what's freely, freely available to us is, is the wind and the sun. At EDPR what we're doing is accelerating that growth towards sustainable energy. When I started off as a developer, my focus was on the environment, but having worked in these rural communities, the economic development that I saw and the benefits that these communities derive from the wind farms really helped open my eyes and changed my priorities. The main reason I'm proud to be part of EDPR is the impact that we have on people and on the planet.